In the previous video we have seen how a pin junction is formed and its uh, energy band diagram and under equilibrium condition how J or the current density is zero. And in this video we are going to see the charge distribution inside the diode, electric field profile and potential inside the pn junction. Let us take this pn junction under equilibrium and its corresponding band diagram here. Okay, just just like as we saw in the previous video. Now here we have just added this blue line here which is EI, this is intrinsic Fermi energy level which is added here just for the reference sake for calculations. Okay, now considering this junction, this figure, we are going to draw the charge distribution inside the PN junction, electric field and potential difference across it. Now before going into that, let us see some calculations based on how much is the difference between this conduction band in P, P side and conduction band in N side. So this difference, let us find out what it is. For that, we can say this distance will be equal to the distance between these two also, right? And the distance between this EI at this point to EA at this point will also be the same, right? So let us see, so this distance will be equal to this distance. So this distance is nothing but this distance, okay, plus this distance. So let me call this one, okay, let me take a different color here, okay. Let me call this one and let me call this two, okay far away from the junction this distance and far away from the junction this distance in enter okay and here one is in p type so we know equations like we know that majority carrier concentration in p type p can be written in terms of n i n i times e power e i minus e f over k suffix b t okay capital t now if you see here we know the distance between EI and EF. EI minus EF can be written as EI minus EF can be written as KT K of X P T ln of P over NI and we know that P is approximately equal to the acceptor doping concentration which is NA okay so we can write P equals NA and coming to the N side N can be written in terms of N i as N i times e power e f minus e i over k suffix b t. So we can rewrite this as e f minus e i which is equal to k suffix b t times ln of p sorry n over n i. In this case N is approximately equal to N d the donor concentration doping. ND. Okay. Now we know EF minus EA, which is nothing but the 2, okay, 2, and EA minus EF is 1. Now if we add these two values, we'll have the distance between this distance, okay. So we can write this as K suffix BT ln of N times P divided by NI square. And we know N is ND and P is NA. So let me write this N D N A over N I square. This is this we write it as Q times V naught. We'll see what that V naught is. Okay, in a short while. Q V naught. So we can write down V naught equals to K T over Q times L N of N D N A over N I square. This is a very important equation to remember okay for solving some problems and this pn junction where the junction is exactly formed this is known as metallurgical junction okay metallurgical junction fine i'm going to draw the charge distribution and so on in the right hand side for this particular pn junction so let me take this direction x okay and this let me call rho 
the charge density. Now if you look at this P and N, in N side we have charge near the junction as positive ions. Okay, So this charge distribution will be like this and when it comes to the region it will drop off like this. Okay, And away from this junction it will be neutral. Okay, Only at this junction it will be ions exposed. And if you look at in P side we will have a similar situation okay where the density will be uniform in this area and when it comes away from the junction it tapers off okay now this height will be equal to Q times N A approximately and this will be Q times N D and <coughs> we know that if there are some tapers like this smooth transitions it will be difficult for calculations so what we do is there is an approximation known as depletion approximation and I'll make a video separately on this depletion approximation. In this approximation what we do is we assume this lines as straight lines here. Okay, This line as a straight line and even here. Okay, And this is a continuation. So if you see here we know that the number of charge, the amount of charge in this is positive charge, right? And the amount of charge here is negative charge. We know that this positive charge should be equal to negative charge magnitude, okay? Because of the charge neutrality. Because the rest of the region, the P and N regions are neutral except this. And in this, before forming the PN junction, both materials were neutral and after forming this should be neutral. So the amount of positive charge present inside the PN junction should also be equal to the negative charge. Okay, So this two should be equal. Now here comes if different cases where Na equals Nd, Na is greater than Nd and Na is less than Nd. We will see these cases when we are discussing junction width. Okay, Let me take this width as x n the width in n side and this as x p okay the magnitude <coughs> so now based on this let us see how electric field will be in this p n junction we know that from poisson's equation del square v equals minus rho by epsilon rho is charge density okay so we know the other equality E equals minus del V. So now we need to find equality in E with respect to rho because we know the charge distribution here. Now we need to know what is the electric field. So del E will be equal to rho by epsilon and E can be written as integral of rho by epsilon with respect to dx as we are considering only x direction. So now E will be like this. If we integrate the charge in this fashion we'll have till this point it will be zero because the area under the curve will be zero. Now if we start considering this area, this area is a negative. So as we go on we'll have a ramp kind of a waveform okay, profile and when we consider this positive so the net area gets cancelled so this charge, this electric field decreases and it reaches to zero and going further the area will be zero under the curve but the important point here is what is the peak value here okay if you see if we integrate till this point where x is zero the area under this negative curve will be equal to q and a okay times x p divided by epsilon because we are considering integral okay divided by epsilon this peak value E max will be equal to minus because here we have negative sign and this can be equated again with minus Q times ND times XN over epsilon because this E max is negative and one thing this QNA QNA XP equal to QND XN because the area under the positive side should be equal to area under the negative side. So that's why E max we can rewrite like this. These two are equal. 
okay this is how the electric field profile looks like now let me move a little down in order to make some space for drawing the potential distribution if I take x in this direction and uh, junction here now we know that V E equals minus del V now V can be written as minus integral of E times dx now if I take this E electric field distribution and integrate it with minus sign before then the profile that I'm going to have here is the profile will be like this starting from here okay and uh, will be ending here okay so if I start from here the integral will look like this the reason why I drew like this is if I consider area here if I integrate till this point the area will be like this if I go the area will be considering everything okay as I go on the increase in the area will be increasing because of the size of this small area okay so whereas in this case the increase will be sharp initially because if you divide it into equal spaces this area near to the junction will be high compared to here so it tapers out and it equalizes so here it will be v this is called v naught okay this v naught we have derived here this is known as built in potential this is a very important equation okay and concept built in potential we know the formula that is v naught equals kt or q times ln of nd na over ni square and emax we know the value which is equal to minus q times na times xp over epsilon and the charge equality we say this positive charge should be equal to negative charge that is also a very important concept okay based on these we will calculate what is the junction width in the next coming video junction width calculation is very important okay